the second one is not my game the second one uh, you know uh, this happened uh, during uh, Asian games uh, 2011 so I was playing in uh, so in, in India uh, the Indian team was I think uh, yeah myself Sashi Hari uh, there was Gopal and Adiban I think yeah I think this was the Indian team for Asian games uh, and uh, in the individual uh, rapid tournament uh, my good friend Rustam Kazimzano, Kazimdanov, he won the he won the championship. Now there was one game that I was watching live uh, when uh, Rustam was playing against uh, an Indonesian grandmaster Sushanto Megaranto, and I was just like they were playing. I was just next to next to their board. My game was also going on, and as I finished my game, I just sat there and I was uh, watching uh, Rustam's game. And uh, I was fascinated by his psychological trick, which he did, uh, you know, in fraction of second. So let's move on to that game. So this was the position, and Rustam was white. Uh, 2010 uh, in China Guangzhou it's a dead drawn position there is just uh, there is just nothing there, there is just no hope right now for instance yeah the easiest uh, way to make a draw is to play bishop f6 and uh, you know e this king pawn end game is also dead draw there is just there is just absolutely no chance black uh, you know white can win this also moves like let's say black says okay i will just play bishop e7 and bishop uh, d8 uh, yeah I, I see somebody says bishop g7 yeah bishop g7 you know you'll take and after king e6 you will always be on time so So yeah, so so the sacrifice does not work, and uh, if you try to play g5, it turned out that even even this king pawn end game is a draw. You know, even even this is a draw. There is just there is just no way. Uh, you know, if sometimes this pawn is changed after h6, even if black puts his king all the way to b7, it's still a draw. So basically, there is no way black can uh, lose this. So I was wondering, you know, why why uh, Rustam is playing. And at this stage, Megaranto played bishop c1. Nothing wrong with this move, but I was very impressed. And they were playing in like seconds, like they had probably one minute each. I was very impressed with with the speed Rustam sensed the the tiny bit of uh, winning chance that he has and it was very important not to show the trick it was very important for rustam to uh, to, to 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 sort of deceive his uh, to to camouflage his main idea so he makes a move in this position uh, which had uh, no meaning as such he played bishop a1 It did not make any sense. I mean, when when you see a move like Bishop A1, it's like, okay, what's the big deal? Yeah, I can literally play anything. So the guy plays Bishop E3. Nothing wrong. Rustam plays Bishop C3 back. And Susanto, he knows this is draw. Yeah, just Bishop A1, Bishop C3. What is going on? He plays Bishop C1 back. And believe it or not, now White is completely winning. Because now C5. And white is totally winning. The point is uh, for dc5 there is bishop e5, and for bc5 there is bishop a5. I found it uh, fascinating. Uh, 
yeah I, I see a lot of people are saying bishop g7 guys bishop g7 is the same thing yeah like once you take bishop g7 uh, you will go and take this pawn and black will put the bishop on c5 and then uh, then nothing happens so bishop c1 c5 and black cannot take the pawn so the game went like bishop e3 c6 and now it turns out there is no way no way to defend because uh, every time uh, some way or other either this pawn or this pawn is vulnerable because uh, the moment this will happen this uh, c pawn will queen so he played bishop c5 bishop e1 bishop d4 bishop g3 and already we can see that uh, black is uh, you see the problem is if black plays bishop c5 here because okay uh, bishop d6 is threatened and after bishop c5 already this wins so he played king e7 check now king e8 is uh, more or less forced because otherwise bishop d8 happens and white uh, yeah so here again uh, bishop b6 is threatened and white uh, won this game so later i asked immediately when the game finished i spoke with rustam and he told me a very interesting thing that as soon as the guy played bishop c1 he realized that there is this bishop e3 idea, bishop c3 idea in order to play c5 but he didn't want to play it here he didn't want this to come as a threat and also uh, this only works with the bishop on c1 like imagine if there is uh, if if he had played bishop c3 in this position and black plays bishop g5 still c5 will not work because takes bishop a5 there is bishop d8 so it was very important that he plays this kind of meaningless move bishop a1 and uh, such a beautiful trick so i thought this is kind of uh, a, a kind of nice psychological trick that he did uh, with seconds on his clock uh one more game uh this also i saw live uh, this happened in spanish league somewhere in um, 2014 so our team uh, there were few spanish grandmasters and uh, top board hari krishna was playing and then there was uh, adiban and myself so i think i drew with uh, ivan sokolov and uh, adiban uh, won his game and the results was was in such a way that hari krishna's game on top board was extremely important that he must make a draw in order to uh, in order to level the match i think otherwise we were losing and uh, the fall he was playing against uh, the french grandmaster itani backrot and the following position was reached uh, this is white to play i also want to show you you know like how mistakes can happen at the very highest level uh, the rating of these two players when they were playing uh, this particular position uh, particular game uh white was backrot who is 27 29 black is pentala hari krishna 27 25 uh hey setu yeah setu guessed immediately the game against backrot yeah this this has become you know uh, an absolute classic uh, among indian chess player that uh, after seeing this game i'm sure if adiban is here he would also agree that after seeing this particular game after witnessing this how uh hari saved this game uh there were so many players you know like we were like no no we should never give hope if if a 2700 uh, player is unable to win this position in a classical game uh then everything is possible and we should uh, fight till the till the end and to make things worse myself and adiban we were we realized that there is no hope because hari had like 2 minutes left and uh backrot had like uh, something like 20 minutes in his clock and literally everything every single moves win here i think even if uh, white says pass still it is winning so backrot played rook a1 
threatening root text a2 if hari would have resigned in this position nobody would have blamed him nobody would have asked him you know like uh, why did you resign in this position because it's completely lost but hari somehow saw, saw a tremendous trick and even till today it is very difficult for me to imagine that how could he even you know think that something like this is possible so he played king c6 and after the game he told it is this point where he saw the trick he was not sure obviously but you know he thought okay he'll give it a try okay guys what is the easiest way to win here Setu, tell me what what does it mean by stream la join pannunga king h7 yeah king h7 is possible okay what else what else apart from king h7 guys rook a2 Atul Dahale says Rook A2, Gorang B says Rook A2, Shoraj Bosh King H7, thank you Shoraj for joining, Rook A2 Shahid, Padmini Rook A2, alright Rook A2 is definitely winning, there is, there is nothing wrong in Rook A2, Rook takes it, say to her, he is asking to join the stream, sure, sure one day, Rook A2, Rook A2, G8 Queen, this wins, there is nothing wrong in this, but King H7, what is wrong with King H7, nothing wrong, yeah? yeah. Why should we even get into queen versus rook? King h7 happened in the game. And Hari innocently played rook a7. What to do now? What should white play now after king h7, rook a7? This is also completely winning. Trey says king h8, Bitan Chakraborty king h8, Pan. everybody says king h8, Goram king h8. Yeah, Padmini rook a2, Shahid king h8, Ilamparthi says rook a2, rook a2 is correct, uh, Deep yes, your Deep Sen Gupta is also right, h5 is correct, everything is winning. Shoraj Bose says king h8. Uh, well, here king g6 wins. Here h5 wins, here rook takes a2 wins, here if white makes pass, that also wins. And as Deep pointed out, king h8 is what happened in the game. It looks completely winning and Hari goes rook a4. And at this point actually Backrot started laughing because he could not believe, you know, like the way he spoiled. And me, myself and Adiban, we were standing, we also could not believe. This is such a unique tr trick. So the point is obviously now if g8 queen there is check, king moves check and take and this pawn and king is strong enough to stop the rook, uh, to, to get the rook because white king is really far. Yeah, yeah, go wrong, I saw, yeah, you meant king h8 is bad because of rook a4, yeah, yeah. That's true. So, rook a4, backward played h5, but this does not help because of rook h4. And again, the same trick if uh, g8 queen, now check here, check and take. So, in the game, it was uh, rook takes a2, rook h5. Yeah, now it doesn't matter because, uh, you know, this pawn is uh, strong enough. So, so yeah, this, this, is, this is the thing, yeah? So now tell me, uh, to, to, uh, to all my friends, you know, those who only wants to know about opening and all, tell me, you know, when 
when a 27 per 100 player is unable to win such a position and this this happens every now and then yeah backroads elo was 27 29 and he has one of the best technique it's not like you know he's not a technical player so i think first and foremost the criteria should always be uh, you know improving your calculation and understanding and i saw whenever i went live in some session everybody is asking the same question what to play against d4 what to play against d4 what to do in this opening or that opening uh, while i think it is much more important friends to you know to to improve your general calculation end game and middle game i think it's it's very important so after this game uh, we saved many games and uh, one of the game that comes immediately in my mind is uh, which has uh, which has also become a classic am among indian chess players uh, that is not part of today's show but i i i, I can recommend this game uh, that you should see uh, that is uh, adiban versus kostenko from asian championship yeah abhijit gupta what to play against berlin you know you can see one uh, game ganguly versus gupta from a national championship that 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 you can try abhijit gupta and thank you for joining